Thank you for staying tuned. The Federal High Court on Thursday nullified the ad hoc delegate congress that produced delegates that chose Aswe Gudalo as the candidate of the PDP. The Federal High Court in Abuja, presided over by Justice Ekwa, declared that PDP nomination processes were non-compliant with its own constitution. As a result, the court has set aside all processes leading to the PDP Edo governorship primaries held on February 22, 2024. The court decision means that the PDP has no candidate for the upcoming governorship election on September 21st in Edo State. Meanwhile, the PDP has responded by stating that the candidature of Dr. Aswe Godalo as the flag bearer of the party for the 2024 elections remains intact and the judgment of the Federal High Court in Abuja did not in any way affect the, candidate, the candidature of Igodalo. And to unpack this, I am joined by a legal practitioner, Dennis Osaretin. Good afternoon. Glad to have you join me. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Let me start by asking what your deductions are regarding the court's ruling. What do you make of it? Well, it's not a matter of what my deductions are. The, the right question to ask is what exactly does the judge Uh, Mr. Osaretin. Mr. Osaretin, can you hear me? See. Can you hear me? Yes, but we lost you for a moment there. Yeah, can, I can hear you now, please. You can take your thoughts again. We lost uh, okay. you for a moment. Yeah, I said, I said it's not a matter of what, I, what my deductions are. The right question to ask is what exactly does the judgment of the federal High court say in black and white? And I've taken our time to read through the 37-page ruling of Honorable Justice Eko of the federal High court city in Abuja. There is no way, paragraph to paragraph, where the court said expressly that they have nullified the primaries of the PDP. There is no where it was said in express term that the candidate of Asari Godalo has been nullified. So I want to use this medium to correct the misinformation, the disinformation, the fake news that is being peddled by unfortunately, you know, uh, well-renowned uh, you know, conventional media and even in social media that the, uh, the PDP family has been cancelled. That, for me, is a lie from the pit of hell. And there's nothing like that in the judgment under uh, review. If that is so, uh, Mr. Osaretin, how come we have controversies, you know, about this court verdict? Where is that stemming from? The, 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 you are saying the that... The controversy the, was, Just the, a minute. Just a minute, Mr. Osaretin. You're saying that his uh, candidature has not been nullified. So how come we're having different interpretations of these pronouncements by the court? Where is it stemming from? The, the, con the controversy was planted in the media by the APC and Labour Party propagandists. They are purveyors of fake news. They are those who don't have a manifesto to sell in the coming election. They are the ones that were not even in court. They are the ones that are already, already you know, going with this wrong narrative that the court has nullified the election. And that is a lie. Yesterday, we had the benefit of getting a certified true copy of the judgment. And that copy of that judgment has also been shared with your correspondence. And I can tell you clearly that there is nowhere in that judgment where the court nullified the PDP primary. That is a lie from the pit of hell. And those who are purveying, those who are narrating fake news should be sanctioned accordingly. And I urge you to take our time to look at the judgment page by page. There is nowhere in that judgment where the candidature of Asa Igudalu was nullified. Rather, that case even strengthens the hands of Asa Igudalu. And come September 2024, he will be elected as governor of those states. Okay, let me talk about the internal democracy in PDP itself. In the first place, people in PDP went to court uh, regarding them being sidelined or disenfranchised uh, from the primaries in Edo State. Uh, people are saying even within the party, there seems to be some kind of disagreement, disunity. Uh, what do you make of this? Yeah, of course, in every political uh, association, there is bound to be agreement and disagreement. That a PDP is not an exception. 
It is a body made up of human beings. And human beings, as long as they are living, they will have a divergence of interest. But one thing I must tell you is that the PDP primaries that led to the election of Aswai Godalo was adjourned one of the freest and fairest primary elections in the history of our modern democracy. So for all those who are in the legacy group, who are still trying to pull down the roof, simply because they didn't get the ticket of the party, for me, it is, it is, it is more unfortunate because you want to, because your interest was not satisfied as you want, then you now want to pull down and throw the baby with the bathwater. That is for me unacceptable. It's unethical, it's unmoral, and should be condemned by all where many other people are Nigerians. When you say that the process for the internal primaries for the PDP is one of the freest, you know, and then and, and, and if yes, fairest, was a judge, was a judge by both local and international observers. I, 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 I hear you. I right. But then yes. we have uh, information of 381 other delegates who say uh, they were disenfranchised. What do you say to that? Those persons, those persons, if you look at the government very clearly, they were not about the primaries. They were complaining about the primaries. So they are diverse. Oh, Mr. Saratin. I can barely hear you. I would have loved to get your response to that. But thank you so much all the same for your insight on the news. Dennis Osiretin, legal practitioner, we thank him for his insight. Mm -hmm.